take the fight to Anbox. Yeah, and this A split immediately getting up in the faces of Anbox. As you said, Dicey and Asuna are both taking the initial duels and winning them both outright. Five on three post plant coming in for 100 Thieves now, Doug. And Dicey was in a good spot. You saw the counter paranoia come out from Seb to try to push Hunter Thieves back. It did at least get him off of Heaven, give Anbox a little bit of room to work with, but they still haven't really been able to get onto the site. You see him on the minimap start to set up so that they can push in from two fronts, something from Heaven, something from Tree as well, and force 100 Thieves to respond to the aggression that's coming in from different angles. Ye's going to drop, just leaving two members left on the side of Anbox as the spy continues to tick away. This... This is a difficult ask for a retake. Yeah, you hope for some frags, maybe build up some ultimate points. You're, well, you're probably not going to get the defuse, and there it is. Three well, kills coming in for Android. Hurry as fast as he can, but Steel on the Bucky, already claiming generator in sight for his team. Handbox, oh, wow. realizing now just how many players are on site. Yeah, just a bit caught out too far. And that's Reba falling a tree, Doug. Yeah, and that's big for Asuna to have the Vandal already. Obviously, you want to buy up and, and really lean into winning this second round. And so far, so good for 100 Thieves. But we did see in the previous round, things got a little dicey at the end. No pun intended. But so far, it seems like this is going exactly 100 Thieves wanted. It's just down to Seb. He's got a classic. And, well, right, but you've got mm -hmm. a Vandal in the hands of one of the most talented players in the game. And that, that's an X factor. Yeah, and he just takes a raw aim duel there, and he wing, wins it. That's why he's on this team. And Android gets that info that they're going to be regrouping back towards A. Rotations will come in in just a moment. Just Ye alone. Five on four. Inbox looks to even numbers. That's Android falling to with the stinger of Dicey. And Asuna oh, wow. once again with the wide swing one tap on a Ye. And, and you're talking about it just before that actually occurred, Doug, where this is a bonus, basically. You want to get whatever frags you can, certainly... Try and win. But if you're getting two free frags, no damage in return. Just off the back of that early investment on the Vandal. Really looks like it was a wise payoff. And Dicey again, just pushing the issue. Yeah, and when you've got the numbers advantage like this, you certainly want to lean into that. Seb was able to get one, so I certainly don't want to count him out. All right, that, that'll, that'll wow. do it. Steel will like play out already, but for Ambox, you've got to get something going here on this rifle, right? You've got the guns. You've got to be able to respond. This deficit runs, you, like you run the risk of this getting out of hand here. Seb able to take care of Dicey. And at least they keep things, at least during this round, close. Android using that run it back. It's going to expire. The spike's still not planted, man. 18 seconds they gotta save this doug surely they don't have time i i don't think there's any physical way for Ten seconds left. he could have make it all the way to the Ooh, there's one more frag to go though and that's steel yeah he doesn't have time yeah no shot however but, i mean this, yeah. this was let's talk about this we had yeah. awesome opening thing there's the first one the lockdown's going to be used Seb using one of his own though. Oh, Seb's there! Seb's there! He gets one! Not able to get the second as Hiko trades him out, but they've got him pinched in. 100 Thieves does not have the spike down yet. That lockdown's gonna come through and tag up one player. Now they're gonna get onto the site. Nitro should be able to get the spike down, but Ye's still on the flank. No! Hiko no. turns on him, takes care of Ye, and gives 100 Thieves a little bit of room to breathe. They're gonna get off the site, they're gonna get off the spike, and they're gonna have the Hunter Fury in their back pocket. That is enormous. Osno able to get one, transfers over. Hiko already with three on the round, looking for the last one. Boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, that, oh, that's a hard... There it is. Two rounds yeah. in a row from Ye. Well, not even that, but the fact that he, he was able to dash away and stay alive and that kill wasn't traded immediately, we haven't seen many times where Anbox has had the numbers advantage. Clean shots there out of Rebo. Again, the recent addition to this Anbox squad. Again, keeping Anbox with the numbers advantage. Right. And for 100 Thieves now, you've got to be making a decision here soon. You know, you don't have any map control. You just lost everything over at B main. They know you're not up mid market, but they're going to go ahead and throw that deep dark cover over at mid. Nitro will. And this will make, you know, keep Android over there at defender spawn. Yep. He's got to stay, you know, at least cognizant of the fact that this mid lurk, left. Omen lurk can TP beyond that. Cat split will come underway and he's wise to it now. He knows this isn't a B play. Cheating over at Seb playing around in the front. A main dark cover is going to find Dicey. And now there's only 20 seconds, Doug. 
2v4. This is looking all but lost for 100 Thieves unless something crazy happens right now. But... Oh, oh, there it is! How's that for crazy, baby? Nitro comes in with two. That's going to give him room to get onto the spike. But he goes going to get it down quickly. Nitro's got three. The dad strength is just too strong. Rebo with oh. one. Hiko trades it out. 100 Thieves look like that round. Putting themselves in a big advantage situations that just aren't panning out. Uh, you know, I, I hate to say that it's some big mistakes that are coming up from Anbox, but really, this is 100 Thieves looking really good, Doug. You should run. It's another big kill. Interesting investment of the lockdown here, but Asuna just holding W. He's already got three, looking for the fourth. He's going to get another, he might get another ace. This tournament, he's hunting. He can smell blood in the water. You see him going after the remaining player. Give it to him. Asuna with 500 thieves are clicking, man. They're... Let's see, they've got the run it back. They're not going to have any info of anything. B, you see that drone starting to come through because Asuna is pushing the matter by A, and he's already gotten the opening pick again on Reba. That's going to give him full tree control. Asuna with a second. The guy's just like, he's running entirely unchecked. He can do whatever the heck he wants right now, and he hasn't been met with really any resistance. Nicey taking care of Ye. Asuna's going to drop his Android, takes care of him, but again, it's traded right back out. And is as good as things started to look for Inbox, they're down to one player again. And even then, this player is already within the jaws of a trap. He doesn't know it quite yet, but there it is. The understatement of the century up to this point. It's just so difficult to deal with. But we see some aggression from Anbox here as they try to fight for mid control. But when you've got Dicey and Steel holding down this area of the map, there's no room to work with, no room to breathe. Boy gets another one, but that was the only silver lining there. 10 to 1. Right. And box is just getting pushed around. The Hunter Spirit oh. comes out from Higo early on, but yay, Blade Storm out. Okay. Right click on Asuna. Okay. The Dicey had one of his own. He's going to dash in. They're going to work around the smokes around each other. Clean. Blade there from Ye. Rebo gets it as well. On to Dicey, and Boy's going to use the Hunter's Fury. Things are working here. Ambox looking like they're going to be able to get the second round on the board. It's just Nitro down low. Nitro shots go wide. Off. Speaking to momentum, Doug. As this this decoy owl drone from Boy may just lead the rotations over to A, but under thieves splitting their defense, they know it's B at this point. A presses forward, dashes up lane. Steel's already got a setup for that. Saw it coming. Austin and Dicey both trading frags back out. Seb finds his second. That'll be huge. Only seconds remain on this clock, but it Man. doesn't even matter. The spike will not get planted. And Steel's in a fight. Much more controlled here, much more aggressive. And you called it, Lex. They walk right into all of that Killjoy utility. And then the Bucky's there from Steel to take care of the opener. Did I did I see that right? I, um, we'll talk about that in a minute. Steel, <laughs> again, still with the Bucky. He's just dropping on him. Dicey has one. Steel is three. Oh, my goodness. Just a Bucky massacre. You know, it would be very easy to underwrite or understate just how incredible maybe isn't the word but spread towards maybe leaning towards the nace split i guess <laughs> yay is just so confident <laughs> with these knives i mean blade storm is just it's already so strong on an ability you put an aimer on that agent and he makes magic happen when he does Rubo actually pushing up towards market will quickly spot out one defender doesn't know the second one is in market itself Tico being oh, pushed man. back, so he's just going to fall directly into the crossfire. Nitro finds the first. Android responds with one of his own. But Hiko closing things out. That's two of those frags down at mid. Both him and Nitro are making this defense look really good, Doug. That's just down to Boy here. That's a big pick with the Bulldog. Drop things down to a 1v1. Again, he's looking to keep this map alive. To try to keep the hope, the dream of a comeback, a reality. That's a big first step, getting the spike down, but he's already been tagged up. Right now, Boy looking to rotate around, but he goes wise to it. It looks like he's going to be posting up in locks. Clean shot, but not enough to get the kill. Hiko gets the third. He's going to get the defuse as well. A statement from 100 Thieves as they take the opening map. What a wall bang. Closing it out is Hiko. That is a friend the Viper at times and boxes. No Viper here. 100 Thieves. Asuna and Dicey immediately taking contact from the Sage over at A main. And both players are now in a lot of trouble as they've overextended, no cover on top belt. Yay, and Android answer back. 
Yeah, and those are the those are the fraggers that we needed to keep an eye on. They're the ones who are going to be the key to Anbox getting something going here. And so far, so good. You mentioned the early aggression from Hundred Thieves. It gets punished thanks to a really nice crossfire setup for Manbox, but. There's still a lot of work to be done here, and I think this site, it can be so finicky, it's never a guaranteed thing. Yeah, Seb getting over-eager at mid is going to fall on that Lurk, steals-wise to it. And though the Duelist battle definitely went the way of Anbox early on, this post-plant, you know, like you said, there's a lot of opportunity, I guess, real estate that is being given up. They're falling passive towards belt, towards top pipes. And now with the retake underway, the Thieves already tapped the bomb once. Tapped it, Steel gets one, Andrew trades it out, but Nitro's Frenzy, Nitro's Frenzy causing problems. They're dressed down to Ye, who'd been working the middle of the map, making sure there was no flank, and trying to ensure that nobody is going to be coming around. Nice shot from Ye. Perfect spot. He had, like, there's no way for them to stick here. Nitro has to go. Ye goes in as well. A 3k for him on the over and over again. You, you're going to keep taking it, right? Mm -hmm. And if, if it's not broken, why change it? We'll see. If Anbox here at the numbers disadvantage are able to continue the, the good momentum that they've built, this is a bonus for them. Nice shots there out of Seb. S Steel's gonna drop. Hundred Thieves. They're down to four against Seb. Right? He's just able to anchor that yep. down. There's no room for them to get in. He's occupying all the defenders. It gives yeah. the the spike carrier time to come in, put the wall up, drop the spike. And now it's a four on two. If he had lost that duel versus Steel, this would have been a totally different round. Dice will answer back with one, make it two, and suddenly this is a doable, doable defuse here, Doug. No way. Nitro's sticking it. He's going to get it to half. He's going to back off. Unfortunately, the clip runs dry as Dicey drops Nitro alone with 22 health and a share of taboo. Certainly not out of the realms. Oh, wow. clear space over here today. You got to be thinking this is going to be an A play here, Doug. Oh, yeah, man. They're all the way in, but Asuna already has one. Dicey with the hop in his hands takes care of Android as well. His handbox are down to two members left. The spike has not been planted. Yeah, he's trying to pick it up, and there's just there's not a ton of room for them to work with here, right? You've got Dicey with the op. You've got a ton of good crossfires. You even have Steel on the flank. That if this round continues to go on, that's going to cause even more problems for the boys on the attacking side. But for now. It's on Anbox to figure out, can they get some room? Can they work their way in? Pushing Dicey off is huge, right? As it gives you a little bit of room to breathe, at least get the op, or excuse me, get the spike. But the, the, really the, the vast majority of this problem is still in front of you. The paranoia is gonna come out. They don't really have anywhere to go, Lex. Yeah, and they've invested the Blaze Storm. Those knives are now gone. And the operator, I mean, you have 15 seconds left, and, and this is something that I've missed, actually, during the oh, opening phases steel. of this round. Yes, this is big. <laughs> yes, you've yielded quite a bit of real estate as Hundred Thieves. They do have a Sage Wall, they do have Omen, Paranoia, and Dark Cover coming out, mm. so they're able to grab this space from Hundred Thieves, and now there's two frags going the way of Anbox, Doug. And the spike looks like it is going to go down. Spike planted. Nico able to take care of Boy, Asuna swinging, taking care of Rebo as well. Empress is going to be a problem. Dicey's going to drop nice shots from Seb, but Asuna again on the flank, able to take care of Seb. Swinging around, fancy footwork from Android, however, as he's able to take him out, gives numbers advantage to, to Anboxes. 100 Thieves is just down to Hiko. Captain Clutch, time and time again. How much do you have in the tank this time around? The Showstopper is going to come out. It's not going to connect on to anyone. Hiko taps and continues to swing around, but no, he's not gonna, no, Oops. over here, that looked, wow, that was, that was brutal. <laughs> on contact, they're gonna start to funnel here onto this B site, the wall's gonna go up. Asuna is sitting on the other side of it, unfortunately, Fight. along with Dicey. Android able to take care of Asuna early on, as he's playing his way around yellow. It, the, you've got to keep an eye on Steel here on the mini-map as he's working his way down the middle of the map. It seems like that's Rebo, who's wise to it. At least checking, make sure there are no shenanigans. There's a showstopper that's going to be used from Android, not going to connect. Dicey able to take care of Boy. Android has that rifle, and the, they're starting to tap it, right? Nitro's on it right now. It's Dudo Smokes. Dicey goes in, gets two, three on the round with the frenzy. Oh, Give him four. The round falls apart for Anbox. Mm. 100 Thieves start to rotate over, but the spike is down. Anbox, they don't have any ultimates to try to help with the post plant. But what they do have is positioning. The Empress has been used 
from Asuna. As they're working the way around, you see that wall has gone up as well as Asuna is trying to quietly get all up in the faces of the members of Anbox. It's going to get traded out. Hiko taps, plays off. It's just down to steal. Steal with one. Steal with two. Not able to get the third. That looks scary. But you, you're right. Hiko saw that. They saw that Hiko Ooh. saw him. Then they pulled over. Right? But steal already able to get two. Asuna gets one as well. And you see how aggressive Asuna is choosing to play this understanding that where the spike is, he's going to get a gun upgrade too. The paranoia is going to come out. What can they do? Rebo drops as well. Man, they're investing everything in the kitchen. Prep for a B push. They'll rotate back as quickly as they can, and the Sage Wall will buy enough time, hopefully, for that, Doug, but not well, quite committed yet. Well, and that's where you see Sage be so troublesome, right? Asuna not able to connect on that, but Dicey does. As both teams have dropped one. Yay, trying to get one with the Sheriff, not able to get the second. But dealt some damage. There's Android as well. The spike's going to go down. As they had at least that much information. Android going Ooh. in. Taking care of Hiko. It's going to leave things on to Steel. Steel. Certainly formidable with the Sheriff as well. But this time, no antics. Did to work their way all the way into Kitchen. And oh, no. Oh, boy, was there. <laughs> But he, they just had no kitchen control, right? He was he got taken out. Android's gonna drop as well. The force up from Hundred Thieves seems to be paying off at least for the time being. But Rebo gets one. He's gonna drop. Yay! Down to the sheriff. He's gonna swap it out for the Spectre. It's in a one v four here. They also know where he is. That's a big pick though, from Yay. He gets one, but he comes for Manbox. They've lacked they lack this information over towards B now. So two players dedicated towards it. Yay! Wise to the possibility of an A regroup, though, finds the head of Asuna at long range. And uh, immediately the spike's being rushed up into A from Dicey. Right, 100 Thieves still want to go here. Oh, but Dicey had to back off, right? Like, he got tagged and he had to dash back. Android's able to hold the line, at least for now. But Dicey and Seal get in on it, as does Nitro. Things look good as they now equal down to a 2v2. The spike is down, and it looks like Nitro is going to be able to reposition, pick it up and then potentially run for the fences. I think the other important thing to note is you look on the mini-map, there's room for them to work with. Yeah, room to work with, but not necessarily time to oh. work with. 15 seconds left. Seal will gash any hopes of the spike being dropped early on, but Nitro's at a foot race now left. to get it down in time. He will, but, you know, for the sake of Boy to be able to regroup or reset, reposition Five himself, planted. he gets all the way back around Long B, and if he gets a free one here on a Nitro, that could mean a winnable yeah, 1v1. He's even going to get a heal yep. out for it. So, Doug, this 1v1 is underway. Yeah, but the, the Killjoy utility, man, that just gives away so much. The turret was there first. You see Nano Swarms all over the place. You can't get within sniffing distance of that thing without getting lit up. Boy. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, the Molly's come there, but Seal was wise to it. Three okay. fist fight, man. Tied up at nine apiece. Asuna gets the opener. He goes going to use the Hunter's Fury. But boy, with the ghost. Boy, with the Ooh. ghost. He's already gotten two. That boy's fragging. And, you know, mm. this is just a pissed around save, but I just figured, okay, Asuna's getting the opening pick, Lex. You look smart again. But here we are, five on three now with the res. The investment seemingly worth it. Android already caught off oh. by a Nitro Lurk up mid, though. You know, if he's got defender spawn on lock, that means they're going to reflank back. You already see Ye and Boy sprinting through attacker spawn, but Nitro not done just yet at Kitchen. Well, Rebo's going to go ahead and pop the Hunter's Fury to deal with that, Doug. Yeah, Nitro was in deep, man, but look, they're about to walk right into each other. Ye takes care of Dicey. Hiko's the last one alive. The spike did go down, and it's a 1v3. This is not possible one not able to get the second Ambox is going to get the defuse and they're going to take like is freaking deja vu we just saw that with hiko uh but and, and honestly the outcome was the same right steel was only able to get one and then he drops Ye has been here the entire time he was up on rafters before he has not but that paranoia is going to cause so many problems and the dicey was just there on the other side to welcome him with a couple of blades of his own nitro is going to get the spike down and now it's going to be on Anbox to fight to take this bad boy back. They have decent positioning, right? You see Seb on the other side. He's got to lay in the shot, so gets one. He's going to get pushed back, and that's going to allow the other members of Anbox to take some of that site space back. The paranoia is going to come out from Seb, but Nitro. Nitro behind. Seb gets three as he continues to cause problems for 100 Thieves. They're down to two members left. Seb swinging around, realizing that there are a couple players just around the corner. Seb gets it. Drops things down to a 1v1. 
Hiko, Seb. He understands where he is, and I don't think... I don't think Seb really has much of a choice here. Yeah, he's gonna get... ...control they've yielded so far. Yeah, look at the aggression from Boy. He might be able to catch Steel, but the problem is 100 Thieves have taken B. Man, they're all the way in there. There's really... There's not a ton left in the last line that was there was Android, and he's gonna drop. It's just down to Rebo here. He's got the Bulldog. Just trying to keep 100 Thieves away from match point. Not able to land the shot so far. Things looking really good for 100 Thieves. And and Lex, you, correct me if I'm wrong here. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, lost his head for it. And nobody else was really. I mean, the, the boy flank may have paid off in the end. But as Ye starts to push forward again, the Hunter Fury is going to be used from Hiko. Tags up one. Oh, he gets the second. Not able to get the third shot to get the kill, but Steel takes care of Ye. Ye was the one on the flank. Rebo takes care of one. Asuna trades it back out. There's the showstopper. Android just buying time, right? Pushing members back, but the lockdown might be the difference maker as they still haven't fired that off. The spike still hasn't been playing you yet. It's just sitting harmlessly in the middle of the site. Anbox have a, they have a shot here. They don't have the numbers advantage, but they do have a position. They managed to get the spike up. However, Android trying to keep them back. The spike's gonna go down. Here's Android on the flank in a 3v1 to try to keep the map alive, to try to keep the tournament alive, but he's gonna drop. Ladies and gentlemen, your former Kings of North America, Punch their ticket to the big dance. 